boosters in ignition and lift off of Artemis One. 一道强光划破美国佛罗里达州午夜的夜空。太空总署 NASA 在当地时间十六号凌晨一点四十七分顺利发射火箭阿提米斯一号。现场航空迷为之振奋，因为阿提米斯前两次尝试发射分别遇上了燃料外泄，还有热带风暴来搅局。这回发射当天，一度还需要检修设备，所幸最后顺利升空。That if Artemis One, if this mission is a success, then they are going to name the all important crew of Artemis Two,、uh, likely in just a few months. So a lot of very excited astronauts here. 这回无人火箭阿提米斯一号升空，也让载人火箭阿提米斯二号更进一步。接下来，阿提米斯。一号即将展开二十五点五天的航程，尝试用新的方式环绕月球。It's much longer than the other lunar lunar program test flights, so this is around twenty five days. We're going to see the spacecraft, the Orion spacecraft, enter into a different kind of an orbit. Around the moon, it's going to be much farther than some of the previous missions. 五十年前 ，NASA 载着人类登月。五十年后，美国再度把眼光放到月球上。随着全球太空产业商业运作有了进展，阿提米斯计划的终极目标是要把人送到更遥远的火星上。That goal is achievable, but it's going to take some time. We need to get to the moon, learn how to live and work on the moon, and learn how to live and work. Uh, and operate these missions,、uh, being so far away. 专家要航空迷再等一等，这回 NASA 迈开脚步重返太空，让人们再一次抬头仰望星空。华视新闻。